Thelma? I know that, but I like to say hello. Hello. Right. I'm Tula. Hello. Thelma, you've already said it. <laughs> we are the little cooks. Hello. All right, Thelma. What? Nothing. Today, we're going to make... An alien with Roquefort cheese sauce. No, Thelma. A dinosaur with Roquefort cheese sauce. Telmo? <laughs> okay, okay. Say something more normal. At least something we can eat for today's recipe. Okay. I don't know. Yes! Apple toast! Fine, as long as they're not made with dinosaurs or monsters. And how do we know that we won't still be hungry? I will not still be hungry. But I will. Okay, then give me another recipe and we'll also make it. Let's make, let's see. Mm -hmm. a, a kiwi cocktail. That's good, I like that. That's super. And the ingredients for our delicious apple toast are toasted bread. Peeled and diced apples. Olive oil. Ground cinnamon. Sugar. Cottage cheese. What is cottage cheese? It's a double cream white cheese. Very smooth and with a lot of low fat content. So it's a fresh cheese. No, it's not fresh cheese, Telmo. It's cottage cheese. Okay, okay. And the ingredients for our delicious kiwi cocktail. Peeled and diced kiwis. Grapes. Peeled and diced apples. And that's it. That's it? Yes. Let's see. Why do you doubt me? We're missing the banana, Telmo. Oh my, that's true. Of course it's true. That's what I said. Right. And a banana. Good, let's get started. We need to call over our grown-up as we're going to have to fry the two peeled and diced apples in a few drops of olive oil. You got a point. Grown up! Can you fry our apples for us, please? We add a couple drops of oil and two tablespoons of sugar. Then we put in the apples. Grown up, isn't it true that cottage cheese is fresh cheese? No, no, it's not. I say it is. Fine, you can say whatever you want, Tomo. Suit yourself. <laughs> well, now we add a teaspoon of cinnamon. And we have to stir it without breaking up the apples. Just as if they were french fries? Well said, Tomo. <laughs> it's fresh cheese, Tomo. Well, it's ready. Our grown-up has fried the apples with cinnamon and sugar. After that, he's placed them in this bowl and we've left them to cool a bit. Now we can put the pieces of apple on top of our delicious toast. Here. Thank you. Now, we each take a spoon and place the fried apple pieces on top of the toast. All right. Good. Now we place a bit of cottage cheese. Or any other fresh cheese. <laughs> <laughs> White in color. Mmm. It has a smooth taste. It looks like fresh cheese and tastes like fresh cheese. It's not fresh cheese. Okay, okay. This apple toast came out super. Mm, it's fresh cheese. Ugh. And to finish, we're going to make the kiwi cocktail. It's very simple. We're going to use three kiwis, a bunch of grapes, one apple, and one banana and place them in the blender. 
Remember, Tash, you're going up to peel the kiwis and apple and to have him cut them in strips. And all we have left to do now... Ask our grown-up to blend all the, the ingredients together. Grown-up! And while our grown-up blends all of the ingredients for a delicious kiwi cocktail, let's review the ingredients that we've used. Ingredients to make the apple toast serves two. A couple of drops of olive oil, two apples, one teaspoon of cinnamon, two tablespoons of sugar, two tablespoons of cottage cheese, and two slices of bread toasted. Ingredients to make a kiwi cocktail. Serves two. Three kiwis, one small bunch of grapes, one apple, and one banana. Mmm, the apple toast is delicious. Well, wait until you try the kiwi cocktail. That, besides being delicious, is good for the skin. I still think that this is fresh cheese. All right, that's enough. Now I'll show you how cottage cheese is not a fresh cheese. Let's see. Here, cottage cheese. A variety of fresh cheese. <laughs> Go on. Like all fresh cheeses, it has its high water content, low calcium content, is lean and low on energy, ideal for diets low on caloric intake. It's consumed alone or in desserts or salads. <laughs> well then. There's no need for apologies. It's only normal that you're surprised by my great powers of observation. Telmo. Thank you.